Right now, as you're watching this video, there's probably a deadly plant sitting somewhere in your home. Maybe it's on your windowsill, in your garden, or even in your kitchen. You walk past it every day, completely unaware that it could send you to the hospital. I'm going to show you exactly which plants these are, how they can harm you, and most importantly, how to identify if you're living with a silent killer disguised as harmless greenery. Oleander, the beautiful killer. In gardens worldwide, there blooms a silent assassin known as Oleander, a plant whose delicate pink and white blossoms conceal a deadly secret. Native to the Mediterranean and beloved for its ornamental beauty, Oleander is astonishingly lethal, packed with compounds powerful enough to disrupt the human heart's rhythm within hours of ingestion. Historically, Oleander's toxicity is infamous. Roman texts recount its use in both murder plots and desperate acts of suicide, owing to its swift and nearly undetectable action. Even accidental inhalation of smoke from burning oleander branches or contact with the plant's milky sap can cause serious reactions. Symptoms begin deceptively mild, headaches, dizziness, nausea, but soon escalate into severe cardiac distress seizures, and ultimately death. Despite widespread awareness of its dangers, oleander remains widely planted along roadsides, schoolyards, and residential gardens, often without clear warnings. The plant's alluring appearance tragically belies its capability to harm, with documented cases of fatalities resulting from ingesting just a single leaf or part of a flower. The paradox of Oleander lies in its dual identity as both beauty and beast. While its vibrant petals adorn landscapes, medical records annually recount poisonings that could be prevented through greater public awareness. Oleander serves as a stark reminder that nature's most charming facade can mask a profoundly dangerous truth. Water Hemlock, America's Deadliest Plant Along serene waterways and marshy fields across North America thrives water hemlock, a plant deceptively ordinary in appearance, yet considered the continent's most poisonous botanical specimen. With its clusters of delicate white flowers, the plant closely resembles harmless wild carrots or parsnips, an appearance that often leads to deadly mistakes. Water hemlock's roots contain cicutoxin, a powerful poison even a tiny amount, less than a single bite, can cause violent seizures and stop breathing within hours. Cicutoxin interferes with signals in the brain, leading to dangerous overactivity. There are many tragic cases in history where entire families died after mistaking its sweet-tasting roots for safe food. Misidentification is alarmingly common as the pleasant carrot-like aroma of the plant further deceives even seasoned foragers. Symptoms appear quickly, starting with nausea and rapidly progressing to convulsions and paralysis, leaving little time for treatment. There is no known antidote, and survival often depends on immediate intensive care. Though educational campaigns have aimed to highlight the plant's deadly nature, Accidental poisonings persist due to its widespread distribution in rural environments and its close resemblance to edible plants. Water hemlock thus continues to exact a grim toll, silently reinforcing the precarious balance between nature's beauty and its lethal capabilities. Angel's Trumpet, The Devil's Breath Across gardens and city parks worldwide, Angel's Trumpet captivates observers with its enchanting, trumpet-shaped blooms hanging gracefully downward, exuding an intoxicating fragrance. Yet beneath this ethereal beauty lies one of nature's darkest poisons, the alkaloid scopolamine, infamously known as Devil's Breath. Scopolamine's effects are chillingly profound, with victims experiencing complete memory loss and submission to external suggestions, making them vulnerable to exploitation. Historically, Brugmansia has been steeped in mysticism and ritual, 
particularly among indigenous cultures of South America who employed it carefully in spiritual ceremonies. However, misuse or accidental ingestion of even a small portion can trigger terrifying hallucinations, paralysis, severe confusion, and in extreme cases, death. Despite clear dangers, Angel's Trumpet remains a favored ornamental plant across residential landscapes, typically without explicit warnings about its toxic nature. The stunning yet sinister Brugmansia illustrates humanity's paradoxical relationship with nature. While we celebrate its aesthetic allure, we often underestimate its hidden threats. The plant's duality, graceful in appearance yet terrifyingly powerful, stands as a haunting reminder that beauty in nature sometimes comes with devastating consequences. White Snake Root, the Silent Poisoner. Across quiet woodlands and shaded pastures of North America grows white snake root, a plant whose small, delicate white flowers belie a devastating power. Containing the toxin Tremetol, this innocuous-looking herb once caused a mysterious and deadly illness known as milk sickness, claiming thousands of lives, including Abraham Lincoln's mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln. In the early 19th century, Settlers had no idea that cows grazing innocently on white snake root were unknowingly transferring Tremetol through their milk and meat. Victims experienced nausea, severe muscle weakness, trembling, coma, and ultimately death, all without understanding the hidden cause. Tremetol is a fat-soluble toxin that accumulates in animal tissue and milk, remaining active even after cooking or pasteurization. It took decades before white snake root was correctly identified as the culprit behind these tragic poisonings. Today, awareness of the plant's dangers has greatly reduced poisonings, but the plant still thrives abundantly in rural areas, posing a quiet threat. The chilling history of white snake root serves as a sobering reminder of how a seemingly harmless plant can invisibly infiltrate our food supply. It delivers death from pasture to table without warning, a silent killer hiding among peaceful fields. Foxglove, heart-stopping beauty. In tranquil woodlands and manicured gardens throughout Europe and North America, the foxglove plant enchants visitors with its elegant bell-shaped blossoms arranged gracefully along tall stems. Yet, behind these innocent-looking flowers hides a deadly compound known as digitalis, a toxin potent enough to halt a beating heart. Foxglove's toxic properties have been known for centuries. Medieval herbalists recorded numerous poisonings from careless handling, yet paradoxically, small doses of digitalis became a cornerstone of modern medicine for treating heart conditions. The therapeutic range is extremely narrow. Slight miscalculations can quickly turn a dose from medicinal to lethal, causing bradycardia, visual disturbances, severe nausea, and fatal arrhythmias. Historical intrigue surrounds Foxglove. Its toxin was rumored to have been weaponized in subtle assassinations, exploiting its near undetectable effects. Today, accidental poisonings still occur, as children or pets mistake the plant's attractive blooms for something safe to taste or touch. Foxglove's story exemplifies the thin line between medicine and poison a plant both life-saving and deadly depending entirely on dosage. Its widespread presence in gardens and natural landscapes without adequate warnings further complicates the perception of safety. Foxglove thus continues to serve as a powerful botanical cautionary tale, beautiful yet perilous, life-giving yet capable of delivering death. Jimson Weed, The Hallucinator's Trap Growing wildly along roadsides, in empty lots, and disturbed soils across the world, Jimson weed, also known as Datura, displays striking trumpet-shaped flowers that draw in the curious and unsuspecting. But this plant is no harmless weed. 
Every part of Datura is laced with powerful tropane alkaloids, scopolamine, hyocyamine, and atropine, compounds that distort reality, erase memory, and can induce death. Historically associated with shamanic rituals and dark folklore, Jimson weed has a well-documented legacy of causing delirium, extreme agitation, and terrifying hallucinations. The plant gained its name during the Jamestown settlement, where British soldiers accidentally consumed it and reportedly went mad for 11 days. A warning echoed ever since. Accidental poisonings remain common among adolescents seeking psychedelic experiences, unaware of the plant's narrow threshold between a trip and a fatal overdose. Symptoms can include extreme thirst, flushed skin, urinary retention, incoherent speech, hyperthermia, and dangerous heart arrhythmias. Jimson weed's allure lies in its psychotropic power, but its legacy is one of chaos and tragedy. It remains a stark cautionary tale of how experimenting with nature's chemistry can spiral into irreversible consequences, where curiosity becomes a trap and illusion ends in ruin. They bloom beside sidewalks, linger in backyards, and thrive in untamed forests. Some kill in seconds, others take years, some hide their toxins behind beauty, others in banality. But all the plants you've just met share one thing, power. Power to harm, to heal, to bewilder, and to kill. This was Hidden Horizons. Stay curious, stay cautious, and remember, not everything green is good.